campers and thanks for joining me today. Around the holiday season, one of the things we do the most is gift card giving. Teachers, bus drivers, mailman, UPS man, bringing our Stampin' Up! orders. And this is a really cool and super easy gift card design from my friend Dana Welch using, of all things, the base form to the pop and cuts. You'll want to make a bunch of these in the Christmas season, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, we're starting with the card base from the pop and cuts die. This is a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cut and half the long way. And the dimensions are on the website. Just placing that cardstock right over the top. Sandwich between two extended cutting pads. You do need the extended pads for this one. And then crank it to the big shop. And here is our end result. If you were using the pop and cuts pop up dies, you would fold this in half. But we're gonna do something a little different to make the gift card holder. The trick to this is the scoring. Starting on the straight edge and using either the paper trimmer with the scoring blade, which is the lighter of the two, or the simply scored scoring tool. We're gonna to go to th three and a half, five and a half. If you're using the trimmer, just pop out that arm and go to seven and a half. These measurements are on the inspiration sheet. So then just reinforce those folds, folding in half, and then folding the two ends back. Is that the simplest ever and so cool? Now, I like to use sticky strip on these type of projects where you're gonna be moving them around a lot because it's strong. You can also use snail hair. The adhesive will go on the very edge. I've got sticky strip on this, so I'm just peeling the protective backing. And now, to make our slot for our card, this is fun. We're using the curly label punch. Right in the center, just push it up just a hair. Punch that out. And then I just moved it over so that the scallop fits in the edge there and punch again. And do that on both sides. And then our gift card goes right in that fancy little scallop slot. Love it! And that's all there is to the holder. Our edges just fit right in there. Now all we need to do is decorate it. One inch strip of designer paper on the front. I'm using the season of style. And then I'm just trimming off the extra. Cherry cobbler and old olive. The presents go in the cherry cobbler. Make sure you have enough room around there for the circle punch. This is just scrap whisper white. And the words go in the old olive. The two and three eighths inch scallop circle punch for our presents. Right in the center. And the scallop oval for our words. Old olive from the two and a half inch punch. And then we just assemble. Snail these two together and snail our greeting on the inside. The old olive part of the circle panel will go on with stamp of dimensionals. And then a rhinestone from our rhinestone jewels go right in the center of the middle package. And that's how you create a simple and easy gift card holder. Like I said, these are fantastic for when you're making a whole bunch for coworkers or teachers. All these details are on my blog. Have a merry holiday season and thanks for joining me today.